Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm coming on to do a traveler's notebook spread with Journals for Life. And I'm using this avocado toast traveler's notebook. And it is, uh, it's got this nice smooth texture, but all of the pages, I think all but one are printed on the inside. I think there's one white one, so you can get a little crazy right there. And I'm thinking I have plans for that. Anywho, I like this spread right here. So I, I thought what I would do is use this picture right here, which is my new design team, Journals for Life, and We Are Better Together, I thought was perfect for that. I thought that would be super cute. Let me show you this sketch that I'm going to use. This is for January 23rd. So it has words, 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 and I thought that would work for right here. Obviously, let me see. Should I come out a little bit because I'm trying to explain? Okay, let me fix my screen. Okay, so we have the words here which is gonna let us do the words on that side. So I'm just gonna be flipping them, not a big deal. Then on this side, here's my big block photo, like we see here. We've got washi, stamp, words, words, a label, stamp, and some die cuts, ephemera, stamps, whatever. So really fun way to look at this. And you know what I think I'll do? I'll go ahead and pop it right up right here while I am working. I like to see it, you know, on my desk at the same time. I think that's super fun. So I think I'll start. Oh, and I just matted my photo that I printed right onto a piece of scrap cardstock, which is a pretty close color mesh. That's pretty cool. No idea what the color is. Like I said, it's a scrap. Now, the cool thing is on this side of my spread, I have polka dots that, let's see, the photo's kind of right there that are in a really nice grid so I can just use them as a guide for where to put my photo. So I don't have to measure that much. Now it does say, let's see, we have label is one of the things that are on the spread. And so my label, if I'm flipping it, should be kind of going right here. I went ahead and sent, these are a freebie printable. I went ahead and sent them out from, um, I downloaded them and then I sent them right to Staples because I do not have a color printer and that's totally fine. Does not bother me at all. And I like the idea of using two labels right there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut one of the large black ones and I'm going to also cut one of the green ones out. So let me go ahead and get my old school little trimmer here and I'm thinking of cutting them right on the lines this time. Yep, that didn't make it right on the line. I had a theory that I would do that, or I was trying to do that. So I did have them printed. I had them just, I didn't even ask what kind of paper. So they printed them on, it's a little bit better than my copy paper. And although it's not super sturdy, but in a way, it's probably good so that my traveler's notebook doesn't get super chunky. It can get a little chunky, but All right. So I have oh, a little bit of white is still showing. So let me see. So we are super lucky because the owner of the Traveler's Notebook site does sketches every month and I'm all about a sketch. Like I, I, yeah, they are legit my jam. So very excited about using the sketches and then going ahead and having these free labels. I mean, the colors are awesome. They really, really work. So let's see. I have no idea if the next time I use these labels, I'm gonna want a white border. So I'm just trimming them one by one. And I did go ahead and pull a few inks. I have an ink order from Journals for Life for a bunch of Catherine Pooler inks. They're so pretty, but they're en route. They're not here now, so I'm gonna just work with what I have. I have pulled a black, I pulled a hickory smoke. I have a festive berries and a peeled paint that I thought would work for now until I get my other inks in. Catherine Puller inks are, are great because they're super, super juicy. Like they're so like, I don't know, kind of lush if that's really a way you can consider inks. All right, I'm gonna go get a couple clippies to hold these down. I will, okay, this is down. Maybe I'll go ahead and we can get these on. All right, so you know how I said that these are pretty thin? 
but look, you can't even see through them. So my papers, I don't know, I guess it's working out. So I want to get one here, this label here, and it is black on black, that's fine. It's all good. And I also like this green to go right there. Super fun. Now, I like all of these bits. I know I'm supposed to be going, all right, I'm gonna get my clips up right there we go. So I went and absconded from these from my daughter's desk. She has this, this little jar of like these bougie little clips. I was having clip envy. Okay, so above the words, it says stamp or ephemera. And I'm kind of, let's see, we have happy times, the good life, that's kind of cool, but look at how nice this happy times looks. Life is sweet, Ugh. so many options. I like these words and I like this little world too. The reason why I pulled this little world die cut is because we're from all different places and I thought that kind of would vibe really well. So, you know, I think I'm gonna do that. Let's get a piece of this washi down. I want a piece down underneath this little bit to anchor it. Maybe like so, just to have a little anchor and it's got a couple little feet. Do I see little feet? You know how you get those little deedle hoppers? Do they bother me? Not terribly, but I saw them. So I thought I'd go, hmm. Here we go. These are cute. So, should probably use a smaller, guys. I cannot put anything straight on things for the life of me. And you will see me pull out a T-square ruler if I don't have a good guide. My washi just looked a little bit on a wonky angle. There we go. Cute washi. Do you see all the coffee cups and the beans and all that? So cute. Okay, I like the idea of this. Now it's got a nice little anchor. Cute. And I still have to put something up there. Oh, and what I did before I came on is I pulled whatever pieces that I might want to use in this spread. Doesn't mean I have to, but I might want to use them. I liked this we are here because, you know, we're from here, there, and everywhere, as well as the little word bit. So I think we can go ahead and put that up there and it's gonna bring some of that beautiful blue color that's in this collection. There we go. Okay, that is a cute little spread. It's funny, it's it's not like it's like got all this going on, but I really like it. Now, according to our sketcheroo, we get to put some washi under here as well. Yikes! I like this washi, it's got a nice thickness to it. Now, let's see. Normally I would put it under for a resting place. Do I wanna do that? I think I do. I think it's really pretty. There we go. So we've got some nice washi there. We've got our label. Right next to the label, it said stamp, stamp, stamp. We'll see. Now, let's see. Words, words, words. We've got this really cute stamp. I like the word fun for this. I will start working more my coffee does. Dude, I am with you. I am feeling it. I definitely want to use the cute little fun. And I have got my handy dandy new stamping block from Journals for Life as well. So we will use that in a second. I'll put that on there. Now, these florals had me a little smitten. So let me see. Where did I want to put these florals? You know, I could put them on the top and the bottom, and I like the idea of that to get some double duty out of them. So let's do that. Do do do. Let's see. Because that can break up. Do I want the bigger spot down here? Probably. We have big. Do I want to go? Nope. It's got to hide a little bit. Maybe like so. Okay. So got double duty out of that one. Exquisite. And then let's see. What else do we want to do? And I know I have a little stamping to do. You know, one of the things that's so great about Traveler's Notebooks is like, especially these, they're pre-printed. You have your stuff. You just flip to a page 
And you can, I don't know if I want that there because it's competing with that and this has this great diagonal. You, you are in a situation where you've got all of these beautiful pieces, right? But you just start popping them down and it all just comes together. Reasons to love life. That would be really good for the wordy bits right down here and it's pulling in this blue and I can put it on top of the flowers. Okay, awesome. I've got to do a little stamping now. I just love all of these die cuts so much. I think, I think that they have my heart. Now I also have these great little stickers. So let me see. Try not to bring in the pinky color too much for no big reason. Ew, this looks kind of cool. It's, there's like a circle printed within it. That's really awesome. Okay. Not bringing in the food things as much. Because I'm trying to stay with like just blue and green on this one. Yeah, it's kind of a thing I'm doing. Okay. So, stamping. I've got my word fun. And I've got to prime it a little bit. I also need a little something right here. Like, and this is like a really foodie kit. So I'm like, hmm. I mean, the butterfly works. That, oh, that's pretty. That is super pretty. And then I can do fun right here. Oh, well, I guess we're getting a butterfly in there. Just a little movement. And yes, I know the moment I close this, the butterfly won't have movement. I just like it for right now. It's okay. And I don't mind at all if I have bits that stick out. I think it ends up making it look interesting when you have bits here and there sticking out and being floofy and everywhere. Okay, I have fun. And oh, I can also use this heart and I can do two different colors of inks. Look at this cute little heart. Okay, both of those will work. So I think I should start. Okay, I have fun here. I'll grab this little block I have over here on my desk. I think we'll do green and black. And I'm going to test it out a little bit. Ah! Guys, I am the messiest stamper. Don't do anything I do. That's my best advice for you. All right, let me go ahead and see how it stamps. Perfect. I mean, perfect for me. There we go. Does it make sense that I'm doing green and green? Nope. Just trying to do some nice pressure. I also have a stamping surface that is coming from Journals for Life, just so I can have a little bit of squish underneath it. I think it'll end up being awesome. Now, let me go in with a little bit of a black tone. Trying to prime it just a little bit. And here's the word fun. Ooh, this feels good on my hand. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a little test -aroo. Oh, very clean. Super clean. Okay. There we go. Get a little bit of ink -aroo there. I'm going to hold it down just a bit. Trying not to rock too much. Cute. Okay, so now what I want to do is go into my cute little sequins and just spatter a few little sequins around. And that's super boring to watch me do that, guys. Like, it's nearly painful. I feel bad for anybody that has to watch. So, I am going to pop a few little sequins down and I'll show you my finished layout in one second. Okay, guys, so I have a, three cute little sequins bits in three different areas. Love this little cluster up at the top with the printable labels. And hey, did I tell you guys that this is part of this Everyday Notebook subscription kit? Super cool. So so each month there's, I guess there's a theme, but it's not like super themey. How is that even a possible way to put it? Anywho, this is avocado toast. So I guess avocado toast is a theme. So, but there are die cuts. There is... I think usually a goodie bag, you get the traveler's notebook kit, a stamp, a little goodie bag of something. And this time I think the goodie bag was this little um, tag as well as these sequins, which is awesome. Guys, I haven't, literally have an open stamp somewhere in here. It's terrifying. Oh, there it is. And anywho, 
Oh, and it comes in this, this great little packaging. So very, very clever. And then you have the printables that you can print as many times as you want. Super awesome. Anywho, back to this. I've got this little bit of washi here with a die cut on top and some sequins. Very simple geo tag here, but it's bringing the blue and the green back and forth. And I am digging it. And guys, if you ask, why did you cover so much washi? It's, it's just part of the creative process. I put it underneath. It's peeking through. These florals are peeking through here and here. I like it. I love the way it came together. Now, I do have a couple of like deedly bits. And that's not even really a word. I found this in my stash. So it should probably go like on the front page. Let's go ahead and put that in. That'll be fun for the way my book will look. And then what else? Do we have anything we wanna put just on this page? You know, I like the gold. So I can go ahead and put that on there as well. Fun. We're starting to decorate as we go. Okay, this is what I have for this layout. I will be back ever so soon with another video for Journals for Life. So I'm gonna have links down below as well. And if you guys, um go ahead and put it in your order in the coupon code section, put Shannon 20 and you will get 20% off your order, which is awesome. Okay. That's all for now, friends. I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.